All right, all right, this is what we're looking like. This is what we're looking like. It's Friday, we got 10 minutes to get up out of here. And I'm about to get my George Jetson on and I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. All right, all right, boy Trigger Man, back in the lab. And today, what we have here. Today, what we have, we're doing a Mazda. Uh, it's Friday, we got a quickie here. Time to get out of here. We're gonna be doing the front door, blend the rear door, blend on the fender, and had some damage up on here. Uh, and I think it was something over here. Yeah, yeah, and a little something there. And um, so today we're gonna be doing this one here with the Black Widow. This is um, the third installment of our Black Widow series. Uh, we're gonna do some metallics, see how it does on metallics. So far we've done base coat, clear coat, and single stage, and it knocked all three out of the park. So today we're gonna be doing some metallic, see how it does on metallic. This is a very fine metallic. Uh, I wanted to try it out on a coarse, heavy metallic, but hey, this'll do, this'll do. And also, if you notice, chicka, 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 chicka. no more swivel, no more swivel. Beam ya, locked them in. No more swivel. Mwah! I love it now. Hey, so yeah, man, so we're gonna go do that. Um, paint code, I forgot what paint code was. I'll tell you during the video. Anyway, go mask up, mix up, and we're gonna get to it. Trigger man, man, how you gonna forget what the paint code and the video just started, man? God damn, Trigger man, come on, man. We know you're getting a little older. What the hell is, what's, oh, that's what the truck looked like when it got there? God damn, Trigger man, that thing looking, <laughs> whoa, what the hell, that Trigger, man, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, that's your spray out panel, huh, your test panel, yeah, but Trigger, how you gonna forget the goddamn paint coat, man, the video just started, like, come on, Trigger, <laughs> oh, jeez, man, this guy, we know you're getting old and everything, Trigger, man, you're still playing around with this goddamn Black Widow, too, I see. Man, unsubscribe, Trigger. Unsubscribe, damn it. Okay, got my wet bed on. I'm going with 22 PSI with my first coat of base. And for those of you who are scared of getting coverage in your first coat, please back away from the screen. Because right now we got about an hour and 15 minutes to get up out of here. And I was trying to hurry up and get this thing done. Uh, just one of those jobs last minute and I wasn't expecting to paint it today and then all of a sudden oh I need some paint on this today I gotta get some paint on it so you guys know how that goes a little burn through right there Had a little burn through dusted that on and I believe the paint code was 27 G if I'm not mistaken I, mean, I forgot to get the damn code when I left the shop you know it's the weekend now but Again, if the car's still there Monday, you know, I'll add some more footage as well as what the code was. Not a big deal on the code. Usually it's a pretty color. People want to ask, you know, what's the code? What's the code? But I don't think nobody really even care about, you know, what the code is. It's not that serious. I can't see some of you guys dying to paint your car this color. <laughs> but I still like to give you guys a code anyway, just for the hell of it. So, going with my second coat now same PSI I'm putting this coat a little lighter I pretty much have my coverage already just going over it with the lighter coat trying to get my metallics to go ahead and flow out blend a little bit further damn weather in Florida still been crazy man right now it's real humid in the booth it's raining out and that cross draft spray booth it's pulling all that humidity across the car right now. So I was having some humidity issues in there. More so you can see it with the clear. Like I can tell with the base coat, but you'll see when I finished clearing it, like it was just all milky looking. So if you guys ever get that, I'll show you how to get rid of it. So yeah, this is before I do my final drop coat. Um, just showing you the metallics are laid out smooth. You know, again, the gun is capable very capable yeah, and these are real fine metallics it's got a lot of pearl in there a lot of fine metallics and it laid it out smooth silky smooth no problem 
not big blotchy you know droplets so yeah, yeah trigger lucky trigger lucky yeah yeah so now we're gonna go with a drop coat drop the pressure down a little bit spread out the blend a little bit further and we'll go with it oh yeah quick tack quick tack quick tack and as you can see smooth not a whole bunch of paint coming off but yeah so again with that um humidity when you do have humidity in the booth okay 20 psi so i dropped it down from 22 to 20 psi just a light drop coat but yeah so when you do have that humidity if you're in a cross draft most of the time if you're inside of a building you'll be okay though my my paint booth is its own building so everything it pulls in is right from outside but there is a chance you still can get humid humidity issues in a cross draft coming across it even if you're inside of a building so easiest thing that i do um is turn off turn off your fans i mean you can go and get heat if you got a heat in the booth um you can turn on the heat and that'll get rid of it or if you don't you can go get heat lamps plug in a heat lamp put on there or a heat gun but for me i just go ahead and let me see what's up here 24 and 4 is 8 28 28 psi for me the easiest thing i just turn off the fans turn them off for a few minutes and that humidity it'll go away you can cut them back on there's a couple minutes and then kind of gauge it just look at it and most of the time i've always done it it works fine i do the heat sometimes as well like if it's cold and humid and I need some heat anyway, you know, I go get a heat lamp, plug that in. But yeah, man, this this weather, especially in Florida, it's tripolar. Ain't no bipolar. Ain't no telling what you get. You be across the street, hot, sunny. You walk across the other side of the street, pouring down rain. You go two blocks over, might be a hurricane. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We tripolar here, man. So anybody thinking of moving to Florida, don't move to Florida, man. We packed our weather crazy. Don't move here. Please. Stay away. Hurricanes will tear you apart. <laughs> you did. Trigger man. Man, you got that right, man. It got them Florida, man. You guys. Man, the weather crazy. Your people are crazy. 30 PSI. Alright, 30 PSI, okay. But yeah, man, I think about Florida, man. You guys. Man, the weather crazy. The people crazy. Like. I'm glad I'm way away from you guys, man. I'm not telling you where I am, but I'm way away from you guys. Yeah, man, that thing look like it's laying down, trick. That thing laying down, trick. Yeah, boy. I see you liking that Black Widow, huh? I'm sick of looking at it, but... Boy, that thing laying down, trick. God damn. God damn, trick. It look like you slowed down on this coat too, man. You bumped up the pressure, which you would think it would be moving faster, but you bumped up the pressure and you slow it down. Like, I don't understand why, why you do that, Trey. Well, this must be because it's your last coat and you're just trying to put that thing on there nice, huh? Yeah, Trey. I see it, Trey. Hey, Trey, two things, man. Why you still got the goddamn bumper on the car? as usual and then where's your goddamn paint suit trigger man i tell you about this goddamn isocyanides man isocyanides and stuff trigger come on man you know i'd be joking man but at the same time trigger come on man we want to see you around for a while trigger we don't want nothing happen to you trigger put your goddamn paint suit on man anyway no paint suit goddamn bumper still on the car you're using this Black Widow cheap DIY stuff. Man, Trey. Unsubscribe. Okay, and on my last coat, I actually turned in the fluid two and a half turns. Um, at the beginning, I had it set at one turn in. Now it's two and a half turns in. So that's an extra one full turn and another half a turn in. Still playing with the gun. You know, I'm just trying things. So, you know, not as much fluid was coming out. Just trying to see if it'll atomize a little better. 
but that was going on there and as you can see here look at those doors you see the the milkiness in the two doors that's from the humidity so if that ever happens to you just shut your fans off it'll go away in a few minutes cut them back on and just keep you know just monitor it like that that's the easiest solution you know cut your fan off you can try the heat route and try you know play around with different things if you're new at this you know when you start panicking or freaking out or something just cut the fans off and it'll go away all right all right all right all right this is what we're looking like this is what we're looking like what we're looking like on the metallics on the metallics no problemo no problemo no problemo But yeah, man, so that's base coat, check. Clear coat, check. Single stage, check. Metallics, check. Everything checked off, you know what I mean? Um, it's Friday, I'm working on a video today. If the car is still here Monday, I'll get some footage of it outside and add that onto the video. But if not, you know, that's, that's the way it goes, man, you know? The owner might just put the mirror in, pop the door handles in tomorrow and deliver it. I don't know. I took all that stuff out. So, and them door handles are tricky. I don't know if y'all who work on who are R&I this stuff, the door handles on this Mazda CX-30, whatever it is, man, them things are tricky. So I doubt he gonna do it. But anyway, so we'll see what's up. Uh, yeah, so that's it, man. Black Widow took it through the third phase. That's all I was curious, you know what I'm saying? So, hey, it can do its thing. Now what we'll do is just use it weekly for little, little things here and there, use it weekly and see how long it lasts. That's a wrap, man. Catch y'all in the next one. Boop. Yeah, and I'm sure you could tell a few seconds ago when I was talking in the camera, you could see it was gone. All I did was shut off the booth fans. I didn't even think about, you know, showing you guys this stuff here while it was happening. I'm just so used to doing it, and, you know, I'm still getting used to just pointing out things as they go wrong and, and fixing them. So just things that I have to work on getting used to as the channel grows, and, um, you know, and I'll get better with them. Again, it's just a year in, so I'm still... I'm still learning myself, you know, and these are things that I should have actually shown you guys while the video was going, while I saw it happening. But my reaction was just go off, shut off the fans. And that was that. So, um, but yeah, so that's it on this video. Again, we'll wrap it up right here. But when I get back to work Monday, this video may be extended to a few more minutes to show you guys the car out in the sun. And if not, and it's a wrap. Catch you guys in the next one. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. And as always, please tell his girlfriend. Peace. All right. It was still here. It was still here. I was kind of hoping it wasn't here because I already actually uploaded the video and the video is done. But, boy, I hope you all appreciate this. I'll be doing, boy. I tell you. <laughs> still here. There ain't too much sunlight. Overcast and cold out here still. But, um... That's what she's looking like. Monday morning. And I gotta deal with these crazy ass door handles. But yeah, so we're still here. Um, again, not much sun, man. It's overcast like crazy. Um, we're gonna work on popping these door handles and everything in. If the sun pops out later, I'll stick it out in the sun. Let you guys see what it's looking like. But that's it there. Nice job, well done by the Black Widow. Metallics all laid flat. As you can see that, um, that milkiness from the humidity, you know, that's all gone. And that's it, man, that's where we at with it. So I'll catch y'all in the next one. So yeah, like I said, car was still there. I popped the door handles in, popped the mirror on. They're just waiting for one piece that goes up under the mirror there, some little plastic piece. Other than that, that's it, man. I was kind of hoping this sucker was gone. The video was already uploaded to YouTube, so I just deleted it, edit this here, and I'll re-upload it for you guys. So that's the finished product. Catch you in the next one. Peace.